Don Beach invented this drink back in 1934 at his Hollywood bar and kept the recipe a closely guarded secret, even from his bartenders. All they knew was that there was a secret ingredient crucial to the drink called Don's Mix. In fact, it took modern day mixologist and drink researcher Beach Bum Berry over 10 years to track down this recipe. First, we need to make the secret ingredient, which is Don's Mix. It's two parts white grapefruit juice and one part cinnamon infused sugar syrup. Now, you can buy it pre-made from BG Reynolds, but I'm gonna show you how to make your own. We're gonna start by making the simple syrup. Now, you wanna get three cinnamon sticks. You're gonna wanna crush these sticks and put them in a saucepan with one cup cane sugar and one cup water. Now, bring that to a boil while stirring. Once all the sugar is dissolved, reduce the heat, cover the pan, and let it simmer for two minutes. Then keeping the pan covered, remove from heat and let it sit for at least two hours. Now you strain and bottle it. Here I'm using a coffee filter with a funnel into a bottle. This is kind of a slow process, but it really eliminates any fine particles. You could probably get away with any fine cheesecloth or, or metal mesh. So once that's done, you can bottle it and it'll probably keep in the fridge for about a month. You could add a little bit of vodka if you wanted to keep it longer. Now we're ready to make Don's mix. You wanna get your white grapefruit juice. If you can find fresh white grapefruits, buy them. Now we're gonna do two ounces white grapefruit juice to one ounce of the cinnamon syrup. So now we're just gonna mix it. And there we have Don's mix. Now we're gonna build this actually right into the blender itself. We're gonna start off with three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice. Now we use a half an ounce of that lovely Don's mix. And we're gonna use a half an ounce of falernum. This is a very lovely ginger and lime liqueur. It's a little bit of allspice in there. Now we're gonna use an ounce and a half of gold rum, ounce and a half of dark rum, and finally an ounce of 151 lemon heart. Now this stuff is hard to find, but when you do, pick up a bottle because there is nothing quite like it. Now we're gonna put a dash of Angostura bitters. And we're gonna do six drops of Pernod, or an eighth of a teaspoon. This stuff's very powerful. It's got very much a licorice taste to it. And now we have a teaspoon of grenadine. You can make your own, which I did here. It's actually not that hard. So now we're down to the final element, which is six ounces or three quarters cup of crushed ice. I'm using a quarter cup measuring cup. You just wanna barely pulse this. You don't wanna have it going on for very long. Five seconds at the most, but even that is probably too long. Now we're done. I'm gonna get a chimney glass. And if it's not quite at the top, that's okay. We can add a little bit more ice to fill. And we're gonna garnish with a mint sprig and a straw. And now you have a zombie. If this isn't quite up your alley and you're a little bit more into simpler drinks, but you still wanna create the zombie flavor, might I suggest Beach Bum Berry's simplified version, which uses ingredients that you can find at your local supermarket. Whether you're like me and you enjoy the process of making the original zombie, or you're kicking back with the simplified, however you wanna do it, be sure to do it responsibly. Mm -hmm.